Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and welcome back to Timber and Stone. We're working on, I guess, the final bit of Freeport here. Um, kind of the last request building I had was a small schoolhouse and that's what we're doing now. And then to wrap up this episode, I will be doing a quick walk around in adventure mode. So you guys can see everything from kind of a first person perspective. So... Not a whole lot to talk about in terms of announcements, besides this is probably going to be the last Temper and Stone episode for this season. Um, I'm sure many of you are sad about that kind of announcement, but don't worry, it will return for another season at some point. It's just uh, right now, I need to take a break. Uh, we are on day 201. And I believe a day night cycle is about 30 minutes and so that equates to about 600 hours um, So you guys know that I have played a lot of this and even double speed even if it's 15 minutes with double speed on That's still 300 hours So I've been playing this for quite a while and it's pretty much time to move on to something new and I believe the game I have chosen to do that with is going to be From the Depths, which is a, um, it starts out kind of more on the water, building small ships, finding other small ships, and then you expand and grow uh, your ship until it's pretty much a battleship in terms of size. So you can make airships and things like that, uh, kind of elaborate weapon systems and so it's just something that looked pretty cool this is another early access game uh, yeah it's just block by block just like minecraft just like this just like most of the things I build so I just figured I'd be pretty good at it I hope so the schoolhouse has a field stone foundation we're going to go with timbered plastered for the walls of course so let's see i need this there and there I'll raise this up Leave a little window for the back area, I think. That'd be cool to do. And then we just raise up and raise up all the way to form our wonderful roof support. Obviously, I already pre-planned the interior. Plenty of seats. Uh, obviously, you have to imagine they have little discs attached to them because there's just not enough room. The main teacher's desks, plenty of books for him to use. Kind of wish there was like a blackboard or something that I could put back here, but there's really nothing that I can do about that. Uh, picnic areas for uh, lunch or things like that. So actually I need to deconstruct two sides. I thought it would look cool to have kind of it surrounded on all four sides, but it looked a little jakey, like it was a little too much. So let's see here, construction walls, we need field stone. And this is our tower for kind of the, the bell tower for the school. Let's see here, uh, timbered plaster. That'll be kind of the last height of that. Followed by uh, some more field stone on each side. Yeah, something like that. For some reason, I get the feeling that this is going to be a little weirdly shaped of a bell tower. 
Not always good, but something we're just kind of deal with, I suppose. Let's see. Yeah. We can make that five tall, and we're under attack, of course. Now, oh boy, that's not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. Where's my farmers? Pause. Farmers, you need to start running. You all need to just get out of there. Uh, we don't have any patrols in the immediate area, so you guys need to just run. Running would be good. Go, flee, flee! Quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, intercepting. Good, perfect. Alice has intercepted successfully. It looks like we have another goblin marauder in the area as well. Oh boy, no, there's a whole lot. Charge that one. Uh, this is not, not something I wanted to see right now. It's the final episode, guys. Can you just, just leave me alone for an episode? That'd be great. They killed a sheep. Whatever. Now they're gonna kill a chicken as well. Farmers are gonna beat them up with their hoes. And there's another Goblin Marauder out there. The Wolf Riders, in my opinion, probably the toughest things to kill. The Necromancers, you can kind of kite around and uh, don't really have to worry about their fireballs as long as you just run in a big circle around them. There we go. Good block, Argos. Another good block. Gonna lose another animal from this, but that's okay. It's, it's it's the last episode. I can afford to lose some some livestock. It's fairly easy to reclaim. Let's see, I need uh, Alice isn't the best at this, but there's that one last goblin marauder. I'm gonna have to hunt down and hunt down. I shall. Do. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Quickly, quickly. Now is that the time to dwaddle? I have to finish that schoolhouse, give you all a tour. Very, very busy. Okay. Let's see. I don't know why it's wanting to think there's an oak tree there. Probably because there was. Great. Oh boy, Alice is in trouble. She is in big trouble, even though uh, she could really just turn around and attack this thing. We might end up losing Alice here. Yep, lost Alice. One of our oldest infantrymen. Uh, those guys are just freaking evil. Fighting, it's basically always fighting two things at once. But we can just get back into working on this construction. If I can get through the lag here. All right. I think something like that will do fairly well. Come on. You guys never do what I want you to. It's really annoying. There we go. You got your pathway open. 
Get out of there. And my squeaky chair is still squeaky. I think for this we'll use a wood tile roof. I haven't used that too often out here in the farmland, so maybe a good time to use it. My cat's hungry. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not, but he's basically being loud back there, and I would like him very much to be quiet. Okay, or not, or just be louder. That's, that's cool too. He's just being a real big jerk. Real big jerk. Put the roof on. get out of the way you builders man it's really annoying they don't really work together very well it's very independent which is cool when you know they're by themselves but when they're grouped up it's really annoying oh joy goblin archer what what a pleasant surprise. Karakos cannot deal with this because one, he's injured. Two, he's really slow. He's not good for dealing with archers, so. Karakos Jr. can just run away for now. And maybe, who's this? Claudia? Claudia can probably deal with a single archer. For sure. Is Karakos being chased? Yes, he is. And they're trying to burn down my lamppost. When I designed those to, you know, produce light, I wasn't thinking, you know, forest fire, but that's okay. That's, that's okay. Oh crap, Dorothy the Forager took an arrow. I'm gonna hop back over here, check our progress. It's doing okay. Timber tiles and that. Yeah, Timber and Stone, I think, has slowly become one of our most popular upload uh, for a series. I think, um, really, it gets the most views at the moment. You guys seem to enjoy it, for sure. Uh, Medieval Engineers, sure, has become a little bit static, just because not a whole lot new content. And I'm thinking, once Survival Mode changes and gets updated, I'll be doing a Survival Series in Medieval Engineers, just so I can... Kind of deal with design choices with survival. It, it really helps to drive uh, the look of things. If you have something that looks uh, believable or something that was needed for survival. So let's just get rid of these. There we go. It could also be interpreted as maybe as a small church. I mean, if you don't look on the inside, but uh, small schools can sometimes look like this anyways, like out in the country, places, I guess, where I grew up. Um, I didn't actually go to one of these schools types, but, you know, I definitely have seen them before. And then we can just get a little fence going. Something like that. Keep them, you know, all safe and sound inside of a play area, a lunch area. And then I guess it's becoming nighttime. I'll see you guys on day 202. We'll do a final walkthrough. Uh, this building is not going to change much, it's just getting its tower finished. And so I'll see you guys here in just a moment.
Okay, everyone, you'll notice that we are over here by the bridge on Undead Island. Uh, this is where we're going to start our walkthrough in first person. I don't know how many people have seen this point of view uh, before for Timber and Stone. It is a little weird, but you know, I think this is the best way to convey scale while you're actually the same height as the characters themselves. And everything I build is generally based on this scale. And, you know, things can look either imposing or too short. Or just oversized if you don't do it otherwise. Like this. Now, the game doesn't handle first person view very well in terms of view distance. You'll see a bunch of kind of this graying effect. It's like trying to apply a fog, but it doesn't really work very well. It's really just almost more annoying. Anyways, first thing that we come to is our trading post, of course. I'm not going to go into in any of the buildings. I'm just kind of doing the quick once around for you guys. And if you make a right, you'll come to our main farmland. Our main farmland is uh, pretty much home to 12, not 12, 10 farmers and two uh, herders to take care of the livestock. We have a manor home. They have a wagon here, a small farmhouse. We have our large barn, another farmhouse, multiple farmhouses. Our granary and a windmill looks really nice. The burnt watchtower that happened uh, when a necromancer attacked. And so we kind of lost this outpost, but that's okay. The It's a good sacrifice for just saving the rest of the town. We have our uh, animal pen. And then you start on the main road into town. So we have our new structure for the school. It's a very simple kind of structure here. But on the inside, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, you guys can let me know, of course, as always. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's fairly open. I like the way the plastered walls turned out. We have our tavern right before the entrance as well. And now we can just kind of hop into the city. And here we are in the production district, which is the first district you come to with our blacksmith right across from our carpenter's hut. Now I'm going to cut through here just so I can get by the engineer's hut as well, which we can actually walk into of course and this is where the engineer works on his military equipment and there he is Udesi, right there relaxing in his home which is attached and then we come up here and head this way we'll just go ahead and pop into the castle just a little bit so you can see kind of the grand hall at least how open it is, the nice back windows and everything, feast tables. And then uh, before it's suggested again, let me kind of swing, uh, not this direction. It is easy to get lost in these places for sure. So we'll swing in here. We do have a library. Um, ooh, I forgot to build the upper bookshelves. Hmm, I'll have to do that. Anyway, so we'll just head this way and out. It gets a little tight in first person. Uh, we have the stonemasons there. We have the tanners there. We have the tailors there. A small market square here. With a nice well, some statues, seating, things like that. Heading down this way, we hit the more residential area. Just a bunch of homes. Uh, Things of that nature are around here. Uh, a large amount of homes and beds. In fact, more than I think we have people for sure. This by the engineers is the military academy for training and of our troops and the general barracks. So we'll keep working our way through the city. And we come to an alleyway. Of course, we have a cellar and then more homes down here I want to see this in first person view is our crypt underneath the church the statues don't 
quite fit, but it's really the best you can do with the space we have. And then we can go back out the way we came. There is another alleyway right across the street. And this just leads to two uh, homes. This one's missing a door. I think a skeleton broke that or something. And then we have our church here in the church district, which is the back quarter of this uh, city. And, you know, we can go all the way through here up to the pedestal and look down the pews. So everything there looks nice. And then right across from that, we have our manor home. And I haven't been in here in first person yet. It's definitely fairly large, uh, kind of first floor, bunch of tables and bookcases. So let's go ahead, come on, rotate please. Why, why can't you climb this, climb the stairs? Okay, so the upstairs is apparently locked in the first person. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But it does have an upper floor. It's got like two bedrooms up there and things of that nature. Over here we have a home under construction. Uh, one of the builders, in fact, sleeping here. It's just uh, mainly aesthetic. Things aren't actually built like this. Kind of a shame because I, I would love to things things kind of build up in stages like that out the back gate we reach the harbor in which we have our fishermen we have large boats defensive ballistas for defending the port um, we can come out onto the deck of a ship look around we have a storage barn back there plenty of fishermen houses and then of course our shipwright building over in this direction Oh, fish market as well. Gotta have your fish market. Yeah, but if you pass this way, we'll go through the shipwright and onto the dry dock area, which you guys can see a ship being constructed right here. Uh, the masts are partially built. There are cranes for lifting supplies up and down. Again, more aesthetic rather than functional, but they turned out fairly well. And then over here by this rock outcrop, we have our lighthouse. In fact, this might be a little jarring and I apologize, but we're gonna go up to the top here. So you guys can see the view of everything minus the blue trees because the fog glitch. Um, it's a wonderful view of pretty much the overall kingdom look. And that is pretty much all of Freeport. And we'll probably do us for now. Um, I'll just do a nice kind of pan as I do my outro here. You know, thank you guys so much for sticking through with me through this uh, playthrough of Timber and Stone. I hope you guys, as I said earlier, enjoyed it as much as I did. And we'll continue following my channel through, you know, the more various games that we get into. Again, if you guys have anything that you want me to play, let me know in the comments down below. I'll take a look. Take a look at everything. I read everything. Uh, this is, you know, just something I really enjoy doing and hearing you guys' feedback on, be it on any game. So, go ahead and check out my other videos. If you haven't already, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.